As it is written in Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11, I alone know the plans I have for you, plans to bring you prosperity and not disaster, plans to bring you the future you hope for. Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. As we are all gathered here on this auspicious day, for the inauguration of Bhopal Center Martima Yojana Sakya, I, Shireen Anu, and I, Ria Jain, extend a warm and hearty welcome to the most respected Dirmeni, Achans, youth members, and each and every one present here. This inaugural meeting is aired via Zoom and YouTube. People from around the world have joined us. We welcome you all. Prayer is an instrument. It sustains us. It builds us and it connects us to God. I take this opportunity to welcome Reverend John P. John Atten, Vikar Satna Matuma Church for the opening prayer. John B. John Atten, Pratana. Mute and unmute in. Kakaoja? A Kelkam, Kelkam. Germany, Prati Jola. Karana and the Tinima, Pidavan, the Ume, Same the Night and Yangang is taught on Gareduno, Popal Center, Eugen Sakit and Dehi. The Eugen David and David and and Sagala Mesh Sundanam to Labeshikino, Karana Donikel Kumaragame, Ami Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm have worked salvation for him. I welcome Indor Markama Church for the opening song.
Due to some technical issue, we'll be moving on to the next program. Now, I would like to invite Ms. Aditi Matthew, Secretary of Bhopal Center, Martuma Yojana Sakhim, for the welcome address. How great is the love the Father has lavished on us, that we should be called children of God. 1 John 3, 1. Good evening, everyone. On behalf of the Gopal Center, Yuvajana Sakyam, I would like to extend a very warm welcome to our beloved Tirumeni, Right Reverend Huyakim Markurlos, Sefrigan Metropolitan, President, Delhi, Mumbai Diocese, who has blessed us all with his esteemed presence. We are honored to have you amongst us, dear Tirumeni. I would also like to welcome the President of the Bhopal Center, Yuvajana Sakyam, Reverend Rajiv Daniel Achil, a very hearty welcome to Reverend Koshi Vaidyan Achin, Vice President, Delhi Diocese, Martuma Yuvajana Sakhim, who is here to deliver the main talk. Also, Reverend Philip Matthew Achin, General Secretary, Martuma Yuvajana Sakhim. A warm welcome to Reverend John P. Joy, Reverend Idikila K. George, and all the parish regards of Bhopal Center. Also, I would like to welcome all the youths who have joined today for the inaugural ceremony. As you all know, DSMC has helped us to air this inaugural meeting on a lot of platforms that is Zoom and YouTube and a lot of people have joined us from across the globe. Thank you so much. Now, I would like to welcome Indore Martama Church for their song.
Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Respected Right Reverend Dr. Joachim R. Kolo Safran Metropolitan Dirimeni, Reverend T. A. Koshi Vaidinachin, all Lachins and Yojana Sikkim members. I praise God Almighty for a wonderful and fruitful Sunday in which we experience God's love, care, peace, and providence in all the ways of our life. This evening time dawned with hope and expectations. We are gathered through online platform to begin our Bhopal Center Marthoma Yavadana Sakyam activities with God's presence. I am honored and feel very privileged to be the president of Popal Center Marthoma Yavadana Sakim. I take this opportunity to thank Respector Thirimeni for his guidance and valuable support. This is a new beginning of Popal Center Marthoma Yavadana Sakim as an organization. As the members of Popal Center Marthoma Yavadana Sakim, 
we should stand in the reverence and gratitude to God through the activities of this year and let us work together to glorify our Lord and to witness kindness of God. We live in a society which is comprised of people who are injured or paralyzed physically, mentally and spiritually. It is a sad fact that we do not take any effort to hear their pains and sorrows and help them. These people are looking forward for our care and love. A careful listening will help us to hear their pathetic and helpless cries. They surely expect loving approach from people like us. It is possible that we may not get time or we may not be able to see the needy and help us in the midst of our busy life. But do we ever think what happens to these brothers and sisters because of our ignorance and apathy towards us situations? These needy and helpless people may continue to suffer because of a passive reaction or rather no reactions. Us, youth community of Marthoma Syrian Church, what should be our response to such challenges? In Mark chapter 2, verse 1 to 12, we see a different approach to a needy in the attitude of four persons. The quality of the fellowship and faith of the four persons in the given text, which has made tremendous change in the paralytic life. The four friends represent a healing community of God, which enables people to the divine healer, Jesus Christ. The attitude of them is an ideal example to follow in this so-called modern developed strange and busy society. Their empathizing fellowship helped to lead someone to have better life and the fullness in faith. Likewise, the church has the responsibility to the problems of the people whose faculties are paralyzed and encouraged for a better life. Unless the society of righteous believers cooperate with each other, they, don't, they won't get better result. The empathizing fellowship and faith of them were not limited in their words. They were extremely committed to their goal in helping the needy in the society. They presented their needs in front of the real healer and the real problem solver. They could overcome all the obstacles through the real faith in Christ fellowship and commitment. Their humble effort enlightens to heal the paralytic. We, the believers of Christ, must become the part of this healing community by leading others to Christ. So, we need to remove all our obstacles of impossibilities and selfishness. Let our fellowship and faith is an encouraging and helpful to all community. The healing is the outcome of the meaningful fellowship and faith. Are we limiting our empathy only to our words or are we ready to find all possible ways to help the needy? Leading others to Christ is not an easy task. We may have faced so many problems. Many people might have criticized and misunderstood but we have to make an effort to be righteous. Let us explore our possibilities and dedicate our lives for leading a better life. Let us not be afraid of the obstacles we have to face in reaching that goal. May the righteous God help us to lead a life of compassion and empathy. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you, Achin. Let us always take efforts to be righteous. Commit to the Lord whatever you do, and he will establish your plans. So now, I would like to invite Mr. Sumod Abraham, 
Vice President of Bhopal Center, Marthoma Yujana Sakyam, to present the action plan. Good evening and greetings to all in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Most respected Right Reverend Dr. Yuaki Mar Kurilos, Suffragan Metropolitan, Delhi and Bombay Diocese. Our guest speaker, Reverend T.A. Koshi Vedian, Vice President, MTY's Delhi Diocese, and all actions and delegates from Bhopal Center. It gives me an immense pleasure to present the action plan for the Bhopal Center for the year 2022-23. Bhopal Center covers parishes from different parts of Madhya Pradesh, which includes parishes from Jabalpur, Satna, Devas, Indore, Katni, and three different parts of Bhopal. As the parishes are located very far from each other, distance covering up to 700 kilometer, meeting offline is not possible every week or month. Hence, it is decided to conduct a bi-weekly meeting that is every alternate Monday evenings through online platform with an aim to nurture our youths in the biblical principle and to prepare them to be a true witness in the society. The Bible study and motivational sessions will be led by youth and guest speakers from Bhopal Center. In addition to these monthly online meetings, a mission tour is planned in the month of November and Christmas program come song competition in the month of December. With this quote, I would like to conclude. To make an end is to make a beginning. The end is where we start from. Thank you and God bless. Thank you so much. Today, we are honored to have been blessed with the presence of our most respected Right Reverend Dr. Yuyaki Mar Kurilos, Suffragan Metropolitan, Tirumeni, President of Delhi and Mumbai Diocese. We are all grateful and thankful that you gave us your precious time and blessed us with your presence. It is my honor to invite respected Tirumeni for the inaugural speech. Respected Rajiv Daniel Achan, who is the president of the Bombay Center, Yuvajana Seki, and other Achans, I think the Vigar General Achan also is present. And dearly beloved Yuvajana Seki, members of Bhopal Center, greetings in the precious name of Lord Jesus Christ. I consider this a great privilege to be a part of the Center Eugenesis Committee. You are the hope of the church. So it is the responsibility of the church to nurture the future leaders of the church. The church has has got a dream about each one of you. Because, as I said earlier, you are the future of the church, that's the dream. So it's the responsibility of the church, church to guide you in a proper way. Our forefathers, 20 years back, had this vision. That's the reason why they started the Yojana Seki. Today in Thiruvella, uh, we inaugurated the celebration of the 90th year after starting the Yojana Seki. What is the purpose of Yojana Seki? Or who can be a member of the Yujana Seki? We all know that the basic qualification to become a member of the Yujana Seki is this. Only those who have accepted Jesus Christ as their personal Savior and Lord. It's written in the registration form itself. 
and we become a member of the church, member of the Eugenic Seki. He declared that I have accepted Jesus Christ as my personal Savior and Lord. Of course, he must be Martha Might. No doubt about that. Only Martha Might can become a member of the Eugenic Seki. Martha Might, Eugenic Seki. Why our forefathers started the UNSC? Of course, there must be a purpose behind each action. It is to prepare the youngsters and the community to be a part of the kingdom of God, which was inaugurated by the Lord Jesus Christ. That is the purpose of the UNSC. Each person has to work hand in hand for the establishment of the kingdom of God. For which they have pointed out for programs. One is worship, second is study, Third is witness, and the fourth one is service. All Sundays, sometimes other times also, we gather together to worship the Lord. It's a time of fellowship with the Lord. And we are supposed to worship the Lord in spirit and truth. Some youngsters used to say, it's a boring. When we come to the church, we have to spend almost three hours. It's a waste of time. We are not getting anything from the church. Then we have to ask this question, why? Why it becomes a waste of time? Because we are not worshipping the Lord as our Lord expected from us. We are not worshipping the Lord spirit and truth. That's the reason the worship becomes boring. Who can worship the Lord in spirit and truth? God is spirit and God is truth. Only those who know the Lord who is spirit and truth can worship the Lord in spirit and truth. And what is the problem? The basic problem is the relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. So we have to ask this question very seriously. Who is Lord Jesus Christ to be? What's my relationship with him? This question is very relevant. But sometimes we fail to ask this question to ourselves. Even we bishops or priests fail to ask this question, make sure all the members of Unisaki are having a good relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Then only you can worship the Lord in spirit and truth. Then the worship becomes centrally different. You will really enjoy the presence of the Lord and you will keep on worshiping Him. And it won't be a boring experience. Secondly, you have to study the Word of God. If you really love Him, how can you keep away from the Word of God? These are interconnected. If you really have a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ, you love reading his words. So you have to develop that. It must be a part of life, reading and studying the word of God in depth. It will help you to know him more and more. It must be our prayer, Lord, help us to know you more clearly. Lord, help us to love you more dearly. Lord, help us to follow you more closely. It's possible only through studying the word of God. Third is witness. Sometimes we may think that uh, witnessing, what is witnessing? 
It's not the saying, Jesus Christ is the Lord and Savior, or God loves you. That's not witness. It's only a part of witness. Nowadays, the problem that we face is communication. We come to the church, worship, and go off. But we fail to communicate the message of love of God to the whole world. If you study the communication system, we call it SMR system. There must be a center, there must be a message, and there must be a receiver. The center is sending the message, and the receiver is receiving the message. The message must receive the receiver say, in the same wavelength. Then only we can say that successfully communicated. We have a message. What's the message? The love of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the Lord and Savior. That's the message. The message of the kingdom of God. We have a message. And we are called to send that message to the other end. And the receivers must receive the message in the same way. But we fail to communicate this message. If it's not received, if it's not received by the other end in the same wavelength, we cannot say that successfully communicated. There are three types of communication. One is verbal communication. That's exactly what I'm doing now. I'm trying to communicate the message through my words. It's a very powerful means of communication. At the same time, the most simplest method of communication. Some are born orators, some others trained orators. As I said, it's the most simplest method. As yes, I must know some, um, I, I should have some matter and also uh, must develop the method to communicate. That's all. That's the reason why I said it's very simple. And then at the same time, it's very powerful. We are all masters of this method of communication through words. We preach a lot but we fail to communicate the message to the world, to the receivers, to the, to the other end. The second method of communication is communication through action. It's very difficult. I don't want to explain it, but I'll give you, I'll, I'll tell you an example. The Mother Taras is a very good example for that. She could communicate the message of the love of Jesus Christ very powerful to the whole world. She was not a person of words, but she was a person of action. Through her action, she could communicate the message. Very powerful to the whole world. It's very difficult. It's very difficult. The third method of communication is the most difficult method of communication. Communication through being. Our presence itself must communicate the message. Our problem is always there is contradiction between these three. Always there will be contradiction between these three. We will say something, we do entirely different thing, but our being is always will be different. Contradiction. If there is contradiction between these three, I will say you will fail to communicate the message. This is exactly what is the church is facing today. We preach a lot. Sometimes we failed to practice it. Our being may be different. The church life also same thing happens. And there should not have any contradiction between these three. Between these three. This must go together. Then only you can powerfully communicate. That is witness. Not just telling, but these three must go together. This is what we are lacking nowadays. Thirdly, service. A witnessing community must be a serving community. The worshipping community must be a witnessing community. And the witnessing community must be a serving community. It's very easy to say, but at the same time, it's very difficult to serve others. 
We are not, we all know that there is always a tension between the values of the world and the values of the kingdom of God. The values of the world is always power, pressure, prosperity, close or lightness. The values of the kingdom of God is always service, suffering, sacrifice. Always there is tension. You all know that Jesus Christ came to this world, sir. He came not to be served, but to serve. Suffer, sacrifice. That is his life. That's the reason why we call the life of Jesus Christ as Eucharistic lifestyle. During Holy Communion service, every, every time we come around the table of the Lord Jesus, he reminds us, this is, this is, I expect from you. Your life, lifestyle must be this. Style of, lifestyle of service, suffering and sacrifice. And then it must be our lifestyle. And each time when we come to receive Holy Communion, he reminds us, this must be your lifestyle. The Venezuelan also expects from us this lifestyle. We must be a worshipping community. We must be a studying the word of God community. Thirdly, we must be a witnessing community. Fourthly, we must be a serving community. We are called to serve the community around in different ways. In different ways. We had to open the eyes through the, and we had to look at the world through the eyes of Lord Jesus Christ. They can, then you can see where our presence is needed. And through service, we can witness the Lord Jesus Christ very powerfully. Dear friends, we have to take it granted. Don't take it granted, but we have to commit ourselves so that we can be a witness of the Lord Jesus Christ wherever we are. First of all, we have to make sure that Jesus Christ is my Lord and my Savior. Otherwise, you cannot do anything. You must know him so deeply, dearly, God love him. Then your worship will be meaningful. Then your witnessing will be meaningful. Then your studying the word of God will be more meaningful. Then you will make available for the service of the community. So it's my prayer. Lord, the activities of the center of UNSC must challenge us, us and must help us to grow in Lord Jesus Christ, making ourselves for the service of others. I'm sure that all the activities, all the meetings will challenge us so that his name will be glorified to us. With these words, I declare the center, Eugenius Sakim activities, is inaugurated in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. May God bless you all. Thank you. I would like to thank respected Tirumeni for blessing us and enlightening us with his words. Let us always remember that we as youngsters are the art of God, and we are here to establish the kingdom of God. Only in the act of praise and worship can a person learn to believe in the goodness and greatness of the Lord. So here I welcome Satna Martova Church for a beautiful song.
is taken from the gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 5, verses 1 to 11. St. Luke, chapter 5, verses 1 to 11. One day, as Jesus was crowding around him and listening to the word of God, he saw at the water's edge 
two boats left there by the fishermen who were washing their nets. He got into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, and asked him to put out a little from shore. Then he sat down and taught the people from the boat. When he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, put out into deep water and let down the nets for a catch. Simon answered, Master, we have worked hard all night and haven't caught anything. But because you say so, I will let down the nets. When they had done so, they caught such a large number of fish that their nets began to break. So they signaled their partners in the other boat to come and help them. And they came and filled both boats so full that they began to sink. When Simon Peter saw this, he fell at Jesus' knees and said, Go away from me, Lord. I am a sinful man. For he and all his companions were astonished at the catch of fish they had taken. And so were James and John, the sons of Zebedee, Simon's partners. Then Jesus said to Simon, Don't be afraid. From now on, you will fish for people. So they pulled their boats up on shore, left everything, and followed him. This is the word of God. Thank you. Uh, it is profoundly known and written in Romans 10, 17. Consequently, faith comes from hearing the message, and the message is heard through the word about Christ. Now, I would request Reverend Koshi Vedyan Achan to share his words of wisdom with all of us through the main talk. Thank you. Am I audible? Hello? Respected Right Reverend Dr. Yakimar Kurlo Suffragan Metropolitan Tirumeni, very Reverend Thomas Cherian, our President uh, Rajiv Daniel Achin, all my dear Achins of Bhopal Center, office bearers of Bhopal Center, Yuvajana Sakyam, and my dear members. Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I thank God Almighty for giving me this opportunity to be with you at this outset. And also, I extend our greetings from the Delhi Diocese Yuvajana Sakim as well, and uh, assuring the assuring our full cooperation and support for your yearly programs as well. Uh, this time, I thank the Dimeni for giving us this opportunity. For the past two years, you all know that we were in a slumber mode, but now the time has come to rise up and to work for Christ for the for His kingdom and for his glory. So we are planning to have a diocesan youth conference in the month of November and which will be held from 4th, 5th and 6th. So I expect your full cooperation and support and praise from Popal Center for hosting it as well as for bringing it into a big success. Thank you and also extend uh, my sincere gratitude to Thirimini as well for giving us this opportunity to work for God. And I also thank this time uh, our beloved Rajiv Daniel Achan for giving me this opportunity to be with you all for sharing the main message. So I would like to begin with a word of prayer and we will quickly move into the word of God. Gracious God, we thank you and praise you for the blessed time, Lord. Especially praying for our, our Bhopal Center youth, Lord. As we plant, help us to work for you and to do service for you. And let it be for the glory of God and for the kingdom of God, Lord. Especially praying for our Thirumeni and also for his help, Lord, this time. We pray for our Rajiv Daniel Achan and all of the office bearers and all of the parishes in the Popal Center. Lord, help us to work genuinely for you and bring more love, more sincere efforts in the midst of adversities and uh, painful situations. Thank you, Lord, for being with us as we meditate upon your word. Lord, help us to understand and discern your word of God, and to live according to your will, Lord. 
Thank you, Lord. Thank you for being with us. We pray all this in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. I'll be sharing the screen right now. Can it see the screen? Hello, uh, Sumoth, can you please help in this? Yeah, just. First line, yeah, thank you. So uh, I have given only 20 minutes and within that 20 minutes, I will complete uh, my message within the stipulated time itself. Okay, so what I have given today's title is Unlocking Peter, Locking Self with God. Unlocking Peter, Locking Self with God. Uh, Sumod, yeah, please go on. Hello. Yeah. Thank you. Next slide. So what we are going to do is that as we have read the portion, so first portion, what we have taken is from the book, uh, from the Gospel of Luke, chapter five. So I'll be traveling or I'll, we will be sojourning through the character Peter and we will be learning some insights from uh, from his life, so to from the beginning as a disciple to the end. Okay, so here is the first thing we'll be just brushing up our Sunday school lessons. Who is Peter? Who is Peter for us? So, as we all know, he's in the biblical records, it's been written as son of Jonah, son of Jonah in the book of Matthew, and son of John in the book of John. Okay, and he's also called as the brother of Andrew. So next, we can see that his occupation was a fisherman from Bethsaida. Basically, he was a fisherman and he hails from the town called Bethsaida. Next, what we can see is that there are two names for him. One was Simon, his origin na original name, and the other name was Peter. Simon and Peter. So what I can understand from this is that Simon was given by his uh, earthly uh, father and mother. The beat was given by Jesus, as you all know. The, here the situation is that there is a constant struggle between these two characters. What I can understand is that Simon was bounded in flesh and Peter was devoted in God. So always in our life also, I think that this constant struggle is there between uh, a good and the bad. As you see in the Peter, this constant struggle was always there. When we look into the Gospels, we can see that from the beginning itself, always Simon uh, was renamed as Peter, even though he was like shifting from one side to the other. Uh, there, is a, there is a point where Jesus asked the disciples, who, uh, who I am? Like, you are the Messiah. But at the next point of time, 
അവന് തിരിഞ്ഞു വന്നിട്ട് പറയുന്ന ഒരു കാര്യമുണ്ട് നിന്നെ ക്രൂശിക്കുവാൻ ആരോടും ആരെയും സമ്മതിക്കത്തില്ല എന്ന് പറയുന്ന ഒരു അവസ്ഥയിലേക്ക് പോകുന്നുണ്ട് അപ്പോൾ ജീസസ് ക്രൈസ് ഈസ് റെസ്പോണ്ടിങ് ദയർ ഇറ്റ് സെൽഫ് ദാറ്റ് ഗെറ്റ് ബിഹൈൻഡ് മീൻ സാത്താൻ എൻ സേത്തൻ എന്ന് പറയുന്ന ഒരു അവസ്ഥയുണ്ട് സോ ദർ ഇസ് എ കോൺസ്റ്റൻ സ്ട്രഗിൾ ബിറ്റ്വീൻ ദീസ് ടു ക്യാരക്ടേഴ്സ് ലൈക്ക് ദിസ് ഇസ് ഓൺലി വൺ പേഴ്സൺ ബട്ട് ടു ഐഡന്റിറ്റീസ് ഇൻ വൺ പേഴ്സൺ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് സൈമൺ ആൻഡ് പീറ്റർ ഗോയിങ് മൂവിംഗ് ടു ദി നെക്സ്റ്റ് സ്ലൈഡ് സോ വാട്ട് ഐ എം trying to do is that i'll be just traveling or i'll be journeying through this different instances of peter and we are understanding how peter formed from a simon to a peter or uh, that we will we will uh, we are going to know so for first of all what i will say is that we will, i would like to read saint luke chapter 5 verse 8 it's all been already been read but when simon peter so he fell down at jesus knee saying go away from me lord for i am a sinful man there is also one more verse saint john chapter verse chapter 1 verse 42 that is he brought simon to jesus who looked at him and said you are simon son of john you are to be called cephas which is translated as peter so as i said there is always a constant struggle between these two characters what do you mean by simon Simon the word uh means that it is a shifting sand shifting sand Simon means shifting sand what do you mean by shifting sand you uh, if you have gone to the desert regions you can see how the wind takes from takes the sand from one side to the other so like that Simon the name deny, denotes that he is a shifting sand he moves from one side to the other the next thing is that Jesus is giving him a new name that is called Peter as you all know it is uh, the meaning of the name is rock and uh, in aramic it is cephas so as i said before here the simon the shifting sand is changing into the character of rock and how that happens is we are, are we are going to see right now so what i am trying to tell you is that in this particular portion in the chap in the luke chapter 5 what we can read is that there is a self realization for simon it happens within him he founds that after meeting jesus christ he founds that he is a sinful man so i always wanted one question in my mind ivide christu ee peter ne kaanuna samayatha ക്രിസ്തുവിനോട് പറയുന്ന ഒരു കാര്യം എന്താണ് ഞാൻ ഒരു നല്ല ഫിഷർമാൻ അല്ല എന്നല്ല പറയുന്നത് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ എനിക്ക് മീൻ പിടിക്കാൻ നല്ല കഴിവുള്ളവനോ കഴിവില്ലാത്തവനോ എന്നൊന്നും അല്ല പറയുന്നത് മറിച്ച് ഹീസ് ടെല്ലിങ് ജീസസ് ക്രൈസ്റ്റ് ദാറ്റ് ഐ എം എ സിൻഫുൾ മാൻ വട്ട് ഈസ് ഹാപ്പനിങ് ഓവർ ഹിയർ ഐ ബിലീവ് ദാറ്റ് ദിസ് ഈസ് ദി ഫാസ്റ്റ് പോയിന്റ് ബെയർ സൈമൺ ഇസ് അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡിങ് വാട്ട് ഹി വാസ് he is not telling that i am a good fisherman or he is a bad fisherman he his identity is a fisher i fisherman identity and he is transcending that identity to a next level and he understand he understands that when he sit before christ when he stands before christ he understand that he is a sinful man so what i want to express to you is that this is the beginning point of everyone this is the beginning point for everyone that maybe you are an engineer maybe you are a doctor maybe you are whatever you are in the, your life this is this should be our beginning point that i am a sinful man and this is the point where we rise from where we accept ourselves so readiness to accept what we are will reveal who we are nammal aaranannulla chinda nammalku manasilaguna samayathana adu adu accept cheythu munnotu pogumbolana നമ്മളുടെ ഉള്ളില് നമ്മൾ ആരാണെന്ന് തിരിച്ചറിയുന്നത് സോ ദ തിങ് ഇസ് ദാറ്റ് ക്യാൻ വി സിറ്റ് ബിഫോർ ക്രൈസ്റ്റ് ആൻഡ് ആസ് ഗോഡ് ഐ എം അക്സെപ്റ്റിംഗ് വാട്ട് വി ആർ ക്യാൻ വി റിവീൽ ഹു വി ആർ ഇവിടെ പലപ്പോഴും സംഭവിക്കുന്ന ഒരു പ്രയാസം എന്താണെന്ന് അറിയുമ്പോൾ വി ഓൾ വോണ്ട് ടു ഇമിറ്റേറ്റ് സം അതേ സ്ലൈ എസ്പെഷ്യലി വി ഓൾ വോണ്ട് ടു ബിക്കം റൺബി കർപൂർ ആലിയ ഭട്ട് വിരാട് കോഹ്ലി അനുഷ്ക ശർമ്മ ആൻഡ് ഓൾ ദോ ഓൾ ദോ സ്റ്റാർ ലൈക്ക് വൈസ് വി ഹാവ് ടു മൂവ് ഓൺ this is what to ask you one thing are we imitating 
a Christ life here? Or are we ready to accept what we are or within ourselves? So, if you want to talk about this, I want to talk about this in the first place. The sinner and the word, first time Luke is using over here. Sinner and the word, Luke Gospel, is the first time you see in the first place in this particular point. And here he understands himself and he is coming out of it. പയം ഏതുമില്ലാതെ ഞാൻ ഇതാണെന്ന് തിരിച്ചറിഞ്ഞുകൊണ്ട് കർത്താവിന്റെ സന്നിധിയിൽ പറയുവാൻ നമുക്ക് സാധിക്കുമോ എന്നുള്ളതാണ് ഏറ്റവും വലിയ ചോദ്യം വിത്തൌട്ട് എനി ഫിയർ ക്യാൻ വി ഗീവ് അവർ സെൽസ് ടു ഗോഡ് ആൻഡ് ദസ് വി ക്യാൻ ചേഞ്ച് അവർ സെൽസ് ആൻഡ് ഓൾസോ ദി ലൈഫ് ഓഫ് അതേഴ്സ് ആസ് വെൽ സോ ഗോഡ് കൗൺസ് അവർ ഫെയ്ത്ഫുൾനെസ് ടുവേർഡ്സ് ഹിം ആൻഡ് നോട്ട് അവർ സക്സസ് ഓക്കെ ഗോഡ് ഓൾവേസ് കൗൺസ് അവർ ഫെയ്ത്ഫുൾനെസ് ടുവേർഡ്സ് ഹിം ആൻഡ് നോട്ട് അവർ സക്സസ് മൂവിംഗ് ഓൺ to the next slide just one story can you see the two pictures like who is he come on pettana are there this is a famous tennis player let let us uh, let big sorry andrea gassi andrea gassi Andrea Gussie had two pictures of the two pictures. What is the difference between the two pics? Can you identify the difference? Yeah, someone has texted me. Uh, thank you. Yeah, with and without hair. Hair, sorry. With and without hair. So, uh, ഈ ഒരു സ്റ്റോറി ആൻഡ്രി അഗാസിയുടെ ഓട്ടോബയോഗ്രഫിയിൽ നിന്ന് എടുത്തിട്ടുള്ള ഒരു സ്റ്റോറിയാണ് ഓട്ടോബയോഗ്രഫി ടൈറ്റിൽഡ് ആസ് ഓപ്പൺ ഓപ്പൺ ഓക്കെ സോ ദിസ് സ്റ്റോറി വാസ് ഹാപ്പൺ ഇൻ ദിയർ നയൻറ്റീൻ നയൻറ്റി വൈൽ ഹി വാസ് പ്രിപ്പയറിംഗ് ഫോർ ഹിസ് ഫ്രഞ്ച് ഓപ്പൺ ഫൈനൽസ് ഗ്രാൻഡ് സ്ലാം ഫൈനൽ നടക്കുന്ന സമയത്ത് സംഭവിച്ച ഒരു കാര്യമാണ് ഞാൻ ഇനി പറയാൻ പോകുന്നത് സോ വാട്ട് ഹാപ്പൺ ഇസ് ദാറ്റ് ആൻഡ്രി അഗാസി ഡ്യൂറിംഗ് ദി ഇയർ ഓഫ് നയൻറ്റീൻ നയൻറ്റീസ് he was wearing a wig adehathinte thala ennu parayunnathu kashindi thalayayirunnu he was having a ball hair but to avoid that adeham eppozhum aa oru kuravine manasilaakada adeham allengil aa kuravu kaanikkaadirikkuvan vendi adeham cheyidu oru kaaryam ennu parayunnathu adeham eppozhum oru wig use cheyidiru aa wig vechittana he always played the tennis matches angane angane kalichondirunna andrew agassikya kore varsham kalichu കളിച്ച് കുറെ ഗ്രാൻഡ് സ്ലാം ഒക്കെ നേടിയതിന് ശേഷം വട്ട് വൺ പോയിന്റ് ഓഫ് ടൈം ദാറ്റ് പെർട്ടിക്കുലർ ഫ്രഞ്ച് ഗ്രാൻഡ് സ്ലാമിന്റെ ഫൈനലിൽ ജസ്റ്റ് ടെൻ ഓർ ഫിഫ്റ്റീൻ മിനിറ്റ്സ് ബിഫോർ ദി ഗെയിം ആഫ്റ്റർ ടേക്കിംഗ് ഷവർ ഹിസ് വിക് വാസ് ഗോൺ ലൈക്ക് അത് തലയിൽ നിന്ന് അങ്ങ് ഊരിപ്പോയി നോ വേ ഹി ക്യാൻ മേക്ക് ഇറ്റ് ഔട്ട് ഓർ ഹി ക്യാൻ ഫിക്സ് ഇറ്റ് ഔട്ട് ഹി കോൾഡ് അപ്പ് ഹിസ് ബ്രദർ ആൻഡ് ഹി ട്രൈ ടു സം ഹൗ ബൈ യൂസിംഗ് സം ക്ലിപ്സ് ആൻഡ് ഓൾ ഹി ട്രൈ ടു ഫിക്സ് ദാറ്റ് ബിഗ് ആൻഡ് ഹി വെന്റ് ഔട്ട് ഫോർ ദി പ്ലേ but what happened was that each for each and every second he was thinking about his only hair the big hair what will happen to me if this hair goes down and he was totally out of the match and suddenly what happened was that he lost the match world champion till that time lost the first grand slam ever adine shesham athreem neram ഈ ആൻഡ്രി അഗാസി ചിന്തിച്ചുകൊണ്ടിരുന്ന ഒരേ ഒരു കാര്യം എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞത് ദൈവമേ എന്റെ വിഗ് താഴെ വീണാൽ വാട്ട് വിൽ അതേഴ്സ് സെയിം വാട്ട് വിൽ ദ പീപ്പിൾ ഹൗ ദ വിൽ റിയാക്ട് ഓൾ ദി ക്യാമറാസ് വിൽ ബി ഓൺ മൈ ഫേസ് ആൻഡ് ദേ വിൽ ബി മേക്കിംഗ് ഫൺ ഓഫ് മീ ഇങ്ങനെയുള്ള തോട്ട്സും കാര്യങ്ങളും എല്ലാം ചിന്തിച്ച് ചിന്തിച്ച് വഷളാക്കിക്കൊണ്ടിരുന്ന ആൻഡ്രി അഗാസിക്ക് ആ ഗ്രാൻഡ് സ്ലാമ് തോറ്റ് പിന്മാറേണ്ടി വന്നു ആൻഡ് ദർ ആഫ്റ്റർ ഹി ടു കെ ഡിസിഷൻ ആൻഡ് ഹി change into his original mode that is this second picture nammude life lum nammal eppozhum manasilakkenda oru karyam nu parayunnathum idu thaneyaanu nammude kuravugale devathinte sannidhiyil namukku vekkuvan sadhikkunnundo ulladana ettum velichudim can we place our deformalities our problems everything before god let god take it up he will do it for you angane chindichukonda jeevikkuvan namukku sadhikkunnundengil the many unrevealed things in our life will become revealed through christ
Okay, so next, next slide. Next slide, what I have given the title is treat inside, not outside. Treat inside, not outside. For that, the particular portion that I have taken is Mark 14, chapters, uh, Mark 14, sorry, Mark chapter 14, verse 67 and 68. I'll just read out that uh, verse for you. When she saw Peter warming himself, she stared at him and said, you also were with Jesus, the man from Nazareth. But he denied it, saying, I do not know or understand what you are talking about. And he went out into the forecourt. Then the cock crowed. Verse 60, 72. At the moment, the cock crowed for the second time. Then Peter remembered that Jesus had said to him before the cock, cock crows twice, you will deny me three times. And he broke down and wept. This was the uh, see, uh, where the situation is. Jesus' trial is happening over there. And uh, Peter is there with others. And Peter is denying Jesus. So you know the story and all. So I don't want to rush into that. Or I don't want to explain or brief into that. But here the situation is. Peter is enjoying the flame at the suffering of the other. This is the point I want to tell you. Peter, for that particular uh, time, he enjoys the flame, the heat that comes out of that and uh, is at the cost of suffering of the other. Here the other is Jesus for Peter. Peter, Namala Korachan Air the Sandosha Tinuendi, Matulover the Sangadanga and Amalangani and a Kanan the Nola, Amalamudan Chodikin. I'll just bring out one example. Uh, next slide, please. Yeah. Yeah, fine. I can understand you know this particular person. His name is Madhu. He's from he is from Attapadi. And you know, he was lynched by a mob uh, just for stealing some bun bun uh, out of his uncle. The problem what happened is, I think you are well aware of it. Still, the case is going on over there. So, if you Madhu in a Sambhoicha, then the Ananulada, you will cover Kumaria. Ah, or you particular incident. The problem is with his uncle, and the people are not solving that problem. Instead, the people are mocking at him and making fun of him. If you are a Namadeyalam problem, Kedakanadu. So the basic problem is not addressed. Instead of that, they are addressing something else for their fun. So that's why I, I, I just uh, said that enjoying the plane at the suffering of the other. So uh, a recent incident uh, here, what happened in Noida is also a something similar situation. You all know, you maybe came to know from news that there was a twin tower demolished recently. And the people were surrounded and they have entered like anything. The people, even people from Agra came to see this, see that particular event. I was mesmerized and got shocked. Why people are coming all the way from Agra and Madura to see this particular demolition? I don't know. But people have enjoyed it. They have clapped their hands, they have distributed sweets and all. Why? I'm not justifying the builders, but still I'm telling you, enjoying the flame at the suffering of the other. So here the treatment is not needed from outside, but from inside. So even our social media also, we can see a lot of negative comments and reviews if it comes. We all take it up and we will all distribute among our social media. It's not just a WhatsApp group now. Everywhere, every place. So social media is the happening place right now. What it is says, is considered as the truth. And we enjoy of the flames at the suffering of the other. So, even the Namukha Kananda Uringil Manslak and Urikari Vendana, the treatment is needed from not from outside, but from within ourselves. And I also want to bring uh, Judas also here into this particular matter. What we can see through Judas, Ningala, we put Angelum Tradition on the Nikari Tilla, Judas and Petrum Cheda Karim the Parinuda, it has the same weightage. Judas betrayed Jesus, Peter denied Jesus. I feel that, and I understand that, both have done the same uh, thing, and it has the same baggage. But Judas is choose, Judas chooses rope, and Peter is filled with repentance. I, I, I always love this 
verse that uh, then Peter remembered that Jesus had said to him before the cock crows twice you will deny me three times he broke down and wept avan potti karanju ennana avada parayundu so uh, there is a point where jesus looks peter so always in our life when we repent ourselves when we repent about our sins we are not looking at god first but god is looking at us this we should always understand ദൈവമാണ് നമ്മളിലേക്ക് ആദ്യം നോക്കുന്നതെന്ന് നമ്മൾ എപ്പോഴും മനസ്സിലാക്കണം നമ്മൾ നമ്മുടെ ഹൃദയത്തിൽ കണ്ണുനീര് കൊണ്ട് കഴുകപ്പെടുമ്പോൾ ഓൾവേസ് ഗോഡ്സ് ലുക്സ് ലുക്സ് അറ്റ് ഫസ്റ്റ് ദൈവം നമ്മളെ നോക്കുമ്പോൾ നമുക്ക് ഒരു പുതുക്കം വരും ആൻഡ് ഐ ഫീൽ ദാറ്റ് അവർ ബ്രോക്കൺനെസ് ഓർ അവർ ടിയേഴ്സ് ഇസ് ദി സെക്കൻഡ് ബാപ്റ്റിസം ദാറ്റ് ഷുഡ് ഹാപ്പൻ വിത്ത് ഇൻ അവർ സിപ്സ് ത്രൂ ദാറ്റ് ടിയേഴ്സ് അവർ ഐ നോട്ട് ഓൺലി അവർ ഐസ് ഷുഡ് ബി വാഷ്ഡ് but our heart and all our body should be washed again so when we do that daily whatever be the situation you in you are god will look at you and he will turn our broken pieces of our life into a masterpiece palapodu nammude jeevithathile odanju poya karyangale ellam eruthu eriyunavarana nammal we won't keep the broken pieces in our home at our home right but god is not like that god always takes the broken pieces and bring it back and he will make it into a masterpiece right now we will be in a very different situation we had gone through very different pathetic conditions we may, we accept that we are sinful and give it to god he will turn you into a masterpiece for sure because god doesn't deny the small pieces so moving on i would like to bring a small picture next slide please yeah next slide please yeah so from this picture what we can understand is that we can see the food parts like we can see the uh, food marks over there and each and every single wave is been washing out all that food food marks over there oru oru പെൺകുട്ടി ആത്മഹത്യ ചെയ്യാൻ വേണ്ടി കടലിലേക്ക് ഇറങ്ങിത്തിരിച്ചു ഇറങ്ങിത്തിരിച്ച സമയത്ത് അവള് ആത്മഹത്യ ചെയ്യണോ വേണ്ടോ എന്ന് രണ്ടു പ്രാവശ്യം ചിന്തിച്ചപ്പോൾ ജസ്റ്റ് ഷി ലുക്ക് ബാക്ക് ആൻഡ് സി അവള് നടന്നു വന്ന വഴികളിലെല്ലാം ഈ തിരകൾ വന്ന് മായ്ക്കുന്നത് കണ്ടു ആൻഡ് ദെൻ ഷി ടേൺ ബാക്ക് ആൻഡ് കീം ബാക്ക് ടു അവർ ലൈഫ് ആൻഡ് സെറ്റ് ഗോഡ് യു ആർ റിമൂവിംഗ് ഓൾ ദാറ്റ് മാർക്സ് ഫ്രം മൈ ലൈഫ് ആൻഡ് ഐ വിൽ ബി ഐ വിൽ ബി ഫെയ്ത്ഫുൾ ടു യു ആൻഡ് ഐ വിൽ ഐ വിൽ submit to you before i'll commit to you before and i will turn uh, into a masterpiece so can we can we do it in our life as well moving on to the next slide finally next slide please not to be loved but to love here i would like to take up john chapter 21 verse 70 john chapter 21 verse 70 you know what is the uh, uh, portion we are discussing about he said to him the third time simon son of john do you love me peter felt hurt because he said to him the third time do you love me and he said to him lord you know everything you know that i love you jesus said to him feed my sheep i also take one more portion acts of the apostles chapter 3 verse 8 jumping up sorry 6 i have no silver or gold but what i have i give you in the name of jesus christ of nazareth stand up and walk so here after the restriction the peter has turned from a shifting sand to a rock so always we want to be loved but god wants us to become a lover eppolum nammude ullile ee chindayana nammale bharikkunde eppolum nammale snehikkuvan kore aalkar ittum venam nanu nammude aavashyam pakshe what god demands us from is that can you become a lover for him can you become a lover for him Uh, next slide please so what i want to try to tell you is that jesus is posing three questions before simon and here we can what we can see is that he is repeating the same answer and finally he is breaking down again so what i can understand from is that love cannot be explained it can only be experienced namukku orikkalum snehathe explanation koduthu manasilaakano understand you know sadikkatilla you know, it can only be experienced there is a small short story uh, you may ha- you, know, you know 
these romantic heroes of the ancient times laila and majnu laila and majnu patti ningalku ariya irikku can you please uh, click one more time so that you can see a picture over there yeah fine uh, so this is the picture of laila and majnu uh, that it is kept in the uh, france museum so, so this is said to be the real picture uh, there is a small story between them as you all know they are the romantic heroes ee laila and majnu inde kada avade undayirna allengil aa rajyath undayirna sultan ar so sultan came to know about their story and sultan was very curious to know how beautiful would be this laila ennulla oru karyam sultan eppozhum ingane like it was disturbing him so he thought of calling laila uh, into his uh, uh, kotarathilekku velikkuva nadhe han thirumanichu into his palace then what happened is that uh, you know she is a muslim so he sultan laila velichu aduthu kondu vannitta sultan laila de parda onnu maati maati nokke pol he was like oru uh, oru uh, confusion man laila athra sundari onnu alla she was not at all pretty uh, and be- that much beautiful to be adorned by someone then uh, sultan got confused എന്നിട്ട് സുൽത്താൻ ഈ ലൈലോട് തന്നെ ചോദിച്ചു നിന്നെ കണ്ടിട്ട് നിനക്ക് അത്ര സൗന്ദര്യമോ ഒന്നുമില്ല പിന്നെ എന്തിനു വേണ്ടിയാണ് ഈ മജ്നു നിന്റെ പുറകെ ഇത്ര അങ്ങ് ആവേശപൂർവം അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഇത്ര പാഷനോട് കൂടെ നടക്കുന്ന എന്നുള്ള ഒരു ചോദ്യം ഈ സുൽത്താൻ ലൈലയോട് ചോദിക്കുന്ന ഒരു ചോദ്യമുണ്ട് അപ്പം ലൈല പറയുന്ന ഒരു ഉത്തരം എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഇതാണ് ലൈല ഇസ് ഗിവിങ് എ വെരി ഷോർട്ട് ആൻഡ് സ്മോൾ ആൻസർ ഫോർ ദിസ് യു ഹാവ് ടു സി ത്രൂ ദി ഐസ് മജ്നു then only you can experience that particular love you have to see through the eyes of majnu only then you can experience that particular love in your life palapolum nammal endinu vendiyana kartavane snehikkunnathu this question we have to ask ourselves is it for our career is it for to get a good partner is it for to get a good life a luxurious life that always be dreamed as the many pointed out our our life should be always a uh, sacrifice suffering service life how our life will bound edu kondu namukku jeevikkan sadhikkumbodana love can be experienced what we are doing is that we have to be loved by everyone we need some people to be loved by everyone that is the only thing that we need if it is not happening then everything gone we will be at the edges of our uh, what we say uh, of our bad experiences or nammude sangadangalde okke aa ore edge la irikku nammal nikkunathu so here what i can i want to say is that when we become a lover we can experience the love the real love so peter gets to know what is more important and priceless in this world by loving god ഇത് നമ്മുടെ ജീവിതത്തിൽ സാധ്യമാകുമോ എന്നുള്ളത് നമ്മൾ നമ്മളോട് തന്നെ ചോദിക്കുക ആസ് ലൈല സെറ്റ് യു ഹാവ് ടു ഗെറ്റ് ദി ഐസ് ഓഫ് മജ്നു ടു സി വൈ മജ്നു ഇസ് ലവിംഗ് മീ ഇറ്റ്സ് നോട്ട് ജസ്റ്റ് ദാറ്റ് ദി ഔട്ട് ഫിറ്റ്സ് ബട്ട് ഇറ്റ്സ് സംതിങ് ഷുഡ് കം ഫ്രം ഇൻസൈഡ് സോ മൂന്ന് കാര്യങ്ങളാണ് ഞാൻ പെട്ടെന്ന് നിങ്ങളോട് പറയുവാൻ ആഗ്രഹിച്ചത് ഒന്നെന്ന് പറയുന്നത് പീറ്റന്റെ ലൈഫിലൂടെ ഒന്നാമത്തെ കാര്യം എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ദ അൺറിവീൽ തിങ്സ് ആർ റിവീൽ വെൻ ഹി സറണ്ടർ ബിഫോർ ക്രൈസ്റ്റ് second thing the treatment is not needed from outside but it should be done from should be uh, done to inside and the thirdly we are called not to be loved but to love so with this i uh, i am concluding my words devam ningale ingane vali nadathuvan sahayikkum shaktikarikkum cheyate and my all my prayers will be with you for all your activities and for all your endeavors and responsibilities that you take up this year May God bless you with all this words. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Atsin, for enlightening us with your uh, wonderful words. Uh, as you mentioned that we should not deviate from our path that uh, God has already uh, blessed us with. And we should use our wisdom and his grace to follow the path that has already been planned for us. thank you so much uh, now i would uh, request the youth of st paul's martoma church bhopal to bless our ears with a beautiful melody
Thank you so much for this wonderful song. Um, let's continue with the program. Best wishes act as a blessing in everything that we do and are necessary to have an optimistic approach throughout the journey. Now, I would request Reverend Philip Matthew Achim, the General Secretary, Martama Yuvajana Sakyam, to come forward for the presentation speech. Respected Yakima Kulo, Safargan Metropolitan Trimani, Bob Ball Center Matuma, Evangel Sakim President, Raji Vasin, all center officials, dear Achins, and dear friends from Bob Ball Center, greetings to you all in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I'm very happy to be part of Bob Ball Matuma, Evangel Sakim Center inauguration program. Marthoma Yvajana Sakim is a group of youths who are accepting Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. On the basis of this, we are entering into the Yvajana Sakim activities and other programs. So keep the spirit of Jesus Christ in our life through the time to come. This year, Marthoma Yvajana Sakim is celebrating its Navadi. We are planning many programs and projects this year. Today, our Navadi celebrations inaugurated a few hours before. So you people have to prepare yourself for this Navadi year. May God Almighty help you all to fulfill this year's activities in well manner. We wish you all, we wish you all the best for coming programs. Thank you all. May God bless you all. Thank you so much. As James Allen says that, no duty is more urgent than that of returning thanks. So I would like to request Mr. Ankush Thomas, the Joint Secretary of Martha Maguvajan Asakya, to come and present the word of thanks. As you therefore have received Jesus Christ, the Lord, so walk in him, rooted and built up in him, and established in the faith as you have been taught, abounding in it with thanksgiving. Colossians 2, 6, 7. A very good evening to one and all present here. Respected Right Reverend Dr. Yuiki Mark Kurilo, Suffragan Metropolitan, Reverend Koshiva Dinachan, 
Hutchins from different parishes, and all my dear youths, greetings to you all in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The duty entrusted to me is to deliver the vote of thanks. So without any further delay, let me go into my duty. <clears throat> As we all know, we had gathered together here in this offline program, uh, uh, in this online pro platform for the innovation of the activities of Bhopal Center, Mathoma U.S. Nasakyam for the year 2022-23. We know that past years we were unable to meet and do much activities because of the pandemic going on. But with the grace of God, I believe that this year we would be able to do many things together as Yuvajna Sakyam to build his kingdom. And I thank our God Almighty for his abundant mercy upon us all. I would like to thank Right Reverend Dr. Ueki Markurilo Suffragan Metropolitan for his guidance and support and encouraging words in this meeting. Thank you so much, Sirimeni. Uh, and I would like to thank very Reverend Thomas Sirian, Bishop Secretary Delhi, for his presence and help. I would like to thank Reverend John P. Joy Etchen for blessing the meeting with his opening prayer. Thank you, Etchen. Next, I would like to thank uh, Indore Matama Church, Satna Matama Church, and St. Paul's Matama Church, Lalghati, for the melodious songs that they, uh, that they had presented this evening. May God bless their efforts. Next, I would like to thank Reverend Rajiv Daniel for the for giving the presidential address. Then I would like to thank our main speaker, Reverend T.A. Koshi Vaidyan Achan for the main message that he delivered today. Thank you, Achan, for encouraging us through your words and by presenting the slides. I would like to thank Reverend Philip Matthew Achan for giving us the felicitation speech. I also thank Reverend Edikula K. George Achen, who will be blessing us with the, with the closing prayer. I also take this moment to, say, uh, to thank our Yojana Sakya members who, step, who supported us in various ways, like welcome speech, Bible reading, etc. Thank you, Aditi Matthew, Sini M. George, Sumod Matthew, and anchoring Shireen and Ria, St. Paul's MTC, Nagati. I also thank I would like to thank DSMC Thiruvalla for providing us Zoom platform for conducting this meeting. I also like to thank Job Johnson Koshi and Justin Thomas for making such an attractive flyer, which we circulated all through the groups for this meeting. I'd like to thank office bearers of Bhopal Center Matama U.S. Nasakyam for their dedication and uh, hard work to make this, uh, to plan and make this uh, program successful one. Last but not the least, I thank each and every USN Sakya members who joined in this meeting today. Nothing is impossible without each one of your support and participation. Thank you so much. As 1 Timothy 4.12 says, let no one despise you for your youth, but set the believers an example in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, in purity. I pray to God that he strengthens and blesses each one of us through to grow closer and stronger in him in order to build his kingdom and set an example for people around us. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mr. Ankush Thomas. Uh, the only way to worry about nothing is to pray about everything. I would request Reverend Edukula K. George Achin from Indore Matuma Church to grace us with the closing prayer. Snehonai, the Yume, Vishastanai, Abriya Vidavi, Anagremai, Santika, in the oldest totrum, Baba, Sender, Martha, my Unisikit in the inaugural meeting, I in the young Kacharn, the Vidu and Levich, I was written, I is totrum, Devamai Kartavi. Is central or particular Ella Shakal Kai Ella Yuvajangal Kai Angiota Pratikin Levichikina, our serengal out of the Krabail Astrage on the air to Manikaremai, Provertipan Esikustu in the Snake in the Sarchila in the Renalku and Yangal Koka in the Krabaji and Ame. Then they meeting Yangal Krevicha and Ali Alojanical Kai is taught from a few in the three many loaded. 
ലഭിച്ച നല്ല ആലോചനയ്ക്കായി സ്തുതിക്കുന്നു സമർപ്പണത്തോടെ ദർശനത്തോടു കൂടെ മുന്നേറുവാൻ ഞങ്ങൾക്കൊക്കെ അവിടെ നിന്ന് സഹായിക്കണം ഇന്ന് മെയിൻ ടോക്ക് നൽകിയതായ ബഹുമാനപ്പെട്ട ഏഷ്യനിലൂടെ അവിടെ നിന്ന് ഞങ്ങളോട് സംസാരിച്ചുവല്ലോ പീറ്ററിന്റെ ജീവിതവുമായി ബന്ധപ്പെട്ട് ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് ലഭിച്ച നല്ല ആലോചനകൾക്കായി സ്തുതിക്കുന്നു ദൈവമായ കർത്താവെ ഞങ്ങളുടെ ജീവിതത്തിൽ അത് പ്രായോഗികമാക്കി അങ്ങേ ആത്മാർത്ഥമായി സ്നേഹിക്കുവാനും ഞങ്ങളുടെ ജീവിതത്തിന്റെ കുറവുകളെയൊക്കെ നിന്റെ സന്ധിയിൽ പൂർണ്ണമായി സമർപ്പിച്ച് പറഞ്ഞ് കർത്താവിലൂടെ പൊതുദർശനം ലഭിച്ച് നീ ആക്കിയിരിക്കുന്ന ഇടങ്ങളിലൊക്കെ നിന്റെ സാക്ഷികളായി നിലനിൽക്കുവാൻ ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് എല്ലാവർക്കും ഓടുന്ന കൃപ ചെയ്യണമേ സെൻറ്ററിന്റെ ചുമതല വഹിക്കുന്ന എല്ലാ പ്രിയപ്പെട്ടവർക്കായി സ്തോത്രം കർത്താവെ തുടർന്നുള്ള പ്രവർത്തനങ്ങളെയൊക്കെ അവിടെ നിന്ന് മാനിക്കുകയും അനേകർക്ക് അനുഗ്രഹത്തിന് മുഖാന്തരമാകുവാൻ സഹായിക്കണമേ വ്യക്തമായ ദർശനത്തോടു കൂടെ ജീവിപ്പാൻ ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് എല്ലാവർക്കും ഇടയാക്കണമെന്ന് പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുന്നു ഈ മീറ്റിങ്ങിൽ സംബന്ധിച്ച എല്ലാവർക്കായും സ്തോത്രം ദൈവമായ കർത്താവെ തുടർന്ന് അനുഗ്രഹത്തോടെ പരിപാലിച്ച് തിരുനാമം ഞങ്ങളോട് മഹത്വപ്പെടുത്തണമേ സുവിശേഷത്തിന്റെ ജീവിക്കുന്ന സാക്ഷികളായി നിലനിൽക്കുവാൻ ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് എല്ലാവർക്കും ഇടയാകും യേശു മശിഹായുടെ നാമത്തിൽ പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുന്നു കരുണയുണ്ടായി കേൾക്കണമേ പിതാവായി ദൈവത്തിന്റെ സ്നേഹം മേഘപുത്രന്റെ കൃപ പരിശുദ്ധ രൂപായിട്ട് സിംസർഗ സഹവാസം പ്രിയതെ നിങ്ങൾ ഏവരോട് കൂടി പ്രത്യേക ഭോപ്പാൽ സെന്റർ യു എൻ സംഘത്തിന്റെ പ്രവർത്തകരോടും പ്രവർത്തനങ്ങളോട് എപ്പോഴും ഉണ്ടായിരിക്കുമാറാകട്ടെ ആമേ so good night thank you thank you thirumeni thank you all thank you thank you all